Welcome to Confident AF Live, taking your mindset next level to get next year's results today with me, your host, Brandon Foster. Are you a badass peep with big dreams? Ready to turn your unrealistic goals into reality? Confident AF Live is the gateway to enormous new opportunities and unlimited possibilities. The unrealistic can suddenly become realistic for you if you believe it. Are you ready to take your dreams and results to the next level? Then stay tuned as we help crack open the door to new ways of impactful thinking and believing about yourself with mindset practices for badass people like you. Confident AF Live starts right now. What up, badasses? Oh, man. Can you guys believe that we have had over 26 episodes? I think this is episode 27, which means we are almost at the halfway mark, or we are at the almost halfway mark of six months of Confident AF Live. So the first thing I want to do today is just say thank you so much for all of you who are listening. I actually was talking to uh, somebody else about my Born to Slay Mindset Mastermind program. And she was like, yeah, I've listened to your podcast all the time. I said, well, good. That makes you and my husband. (laughs) But in all seriousness, if you have friends, family members, even if they're not a badass business owner, entrepreneur, encourage them to listen to this podcast uh, to get encouragement, to help them instill confidence in who they are, who God created them to be, and what they can do in their life. Today's episode, woo, excited about this one because I've been thinking a lot about this, not just with myself and my own personal life, but also with my clients too, which is how do you know you're on the right track? How do you know that it's working like you are where you are supposed to be because one of the things that I always tell group coaching clients one-on-one clients friends uh who ask for my advice always say you're right where you you're supposed to be but even me and myself sometimes it's like I know I am where I'm supposed to be but sometimes it really doesn't feel like I am where I'm supposed to be because What God does is we get these incredible desires in our heart and we want to go so much further. We can start to taste and feel what lies ahead of us. And it's so beautiful. It's so incredible. It's so amazing. At the same time, it's really scary at times. And one thing I have noticed is it does seem like when we set a goal for ourselves and we either achieve the goal, usually it happens before we achieve the goal. It's like when we're really, really close, it's as we get really, really close, it's like God gives us a whole nother download of what we can do and what is possible for us and in our lives. And sometimes people get overwhelmed by that because it's like, I'm just now getting where I've always wanted to be. And now it's like, I have all these new desires and all these new things I want to accomplish. And That is actually a blessing because it's God encouraging us that I'm so proud of you for how far you've come with the tools, the resources, and the talents I've given you. And I want you to know there's still so much more you can learn. There's still so much further you can go. And that's what propels us to move forward. So I say all that because sometimes we have a lot of doubt. Like we're just like, I don't know if I'm where I'm supposed to be. I don't know if I'm doing this right. I don't know if my prices are right. I don't know if my offers are right. I do not know if I'm right on track. And I wanted to provide encouragement today to help any of you because you will all experience this at one point or another in your badass business journey. You will experience a time in your life where you have doubt and I was listening to the audiobook of Battlefield of the Mind by Joyce Meyer, and she talks about how doubt is the easiest way for us to fall off track and that the number one reason we have doubt is because we don't know how things are going to happen. It's not ironic that she mentioned this because you all know that I love Amanda Francis and she, like every single course she has, she's always saying the how is 
not your responsibility. And even the Bible loves to talk about how God works in mysterious ways, which means not the ways that we would think, which also means if we're so focused on the how all the time, we can really lose our belief and lose our faith simply because in our limiting ideas and our limited mindset we have as human beings, we're not open to all the incredible ways that the hows, that things can happen in our life. I work a lot with travel professionals. And one of the things that I've, examples I've given to them is this idea that they always expect their leads to come simply through social media marketing or some kind of trade show event. And I like to tell them the story about how someone got a lead that was from pest control. Like their pest control person saw that they had a magnet on their car that said they booked travel and they asked them about a Disney cruise and they booked it. And those are the kind of weird, crazy ways that only God can bring you abundance and amazing things into your life. And so uh, I wanted to talk about seven ways, seven things you can do to really see if you're on the right track. And the point through all of this is you are. So like literally, this is just to help you move from that doubt into faith and seeing how you really are right where you're supposed to be. So the first one is that your vision is getting more clear. And I have found that Usually your vision doesn't start to get clear until you start to take some more action in your business. And a lot of business owners are just scared to take action because they're scared that if they take the wrong action, bad things will happen. I believe that is why it's so important to realize how much you really are loved, how much you are adored, how there's even the Bible verse that talks about how God knew all of the mistakes you were going to make before you made them which means that he's already prepared all the all the outs for you. So it's kind of like your friends know you're going to fall into like this little pit or this mud trap or fall into the pool. And so they already have the ropes. They already have like the towels. They already have the, I'm getting ready to go to Hawaii. So I wanted to say uh, um, Malibu sunrise. <laughs> They're already ready to like help you. And I feel like that's extremely reassuring. So I've noticed that when we start to take action in faith, our vision becomes more clear about where we're going next. And I remember when I accepted the opportunity to be the mindset mentor, they wouldn't even call me a mindset expert at the time, but a mindset mentor for a high ticket coaching program. And as soon as I did like the first group coaching call, I had so much clarity of this is a tremendous gift of mine that has not been developed that I have. And it was very powerful. And I remember I didn't have the confidence to create my own mindset content, but I had the confidence to ask that owner, hey, can I create some mindset content for all the practical pieces that you have in your program that are really amazing? And this person is an incredible person, had a very open heart and very open mind and said, sure, absolutely. And I remember after I finished creating all the mindset content, which now is almost four years ago, four years, three years, I don't know, it's many years ago at this point. And I realized, oh my goodness, now that I did this, I have clarity that I can do way more. And actually yesterday, was preparing some new content for a digital course called Rewired, which is going to eventually be open up to the public for right now. It's for amazing agency owners and founders who are in my Born to Dominate mastermind, and it's for their teams, a special training for their teams. And I was going through my Google Drive folder and my assistant was like, you have so much content in here. We, you really need to like go through it. And I can't really go through it because you have so much stuff in here. I don't even know what everything is. So I started going through it and I just got that big overwhelming, but like in a good feeling of, wow, like 
God has worked through me to create all this incredible mindset content. Like this truly is a gift. It's like a tick. It's like an inexplainable thing that I can do. And there was trainings like, I didn't even remember doing them or writing them. And I was reading them like, wow, this is really good. And it was like, I can't believe I wrote that. And immediately, as soon as I started to think that it was like, God was like, you mean I did it through you. And I'm like, yes, God, co-creation, you, you've gave me this talent. You give me the wisdom because the truth is every single time I do this, I have to pray. And in fact, if you, if you're one of my one-on-one coaching clients and you're listening to this and you wonder what those long pauses are in our one-on-one, that's me asking for help. That's me really thinking and praying and saying, God, what does this person need to hear? How can I help them? What's going to be the most powerful tool or piece that I can actually offer them? So that's uh, number one. The second thing is when things start to happen more easily and naturally, Sometimes we get these really crazy ideas and they're so crazy. They're so weird. We are completely unattached of whether or not they happen or they don't happen. And I remember a very specific example because I also in a travel agency, I remember just being like, this is ridiculous that all these other social media influencers get free stuff all the time from these stores I'm just going to ask all these stores if they would give me free stuff or a discount code for our clients if I would post about them. And I remember being unattached and I didn't really care what happened, but I was like, who cares? I'm just going to ask. So I asked and after I asked, every single one said yes. Like every single one, there was not, there wasn't 10. I want to say there's probably around five, but I was just really surprised. Like every single one said, yes. Another example of things just happening easily and naturally was, I'm just making sure I'm not going to step on toes of something else I want to talk about is, uh, when people tell you that can't be done and it happens easily and naturally. So I remember wanting to join the circus as a clown and it wasn't the right time to join because it's the middle of the summer, but I just really wanted, I was just, I just really wanted to join the circus. Like it'd been a childhood dream. I was done waiting. I was just ready. And I remember knowing that contract negotiations and contract lasted from January to December. So like the regular calendar year. And so it was in the middle of summer. It's like, there's no way they're going to offer you a contract. And I don't know. My heart was just like, just ask. And so I did. And come to find out, they had let go of two other Hungarian girl clowns at the time. So the timing was actually perfect, just not normal. And so it happened easily and naturally. Another example was when I left the circus to go to film school and there was just certain parameters that people told me that's not how they operate. That's not how they do things. It's not going to happen. And the first one was actually I'll give three. So one was this idea that you can't leave your contract early with the circus. And so I actually went into contract negotiations the year before and said, Hey, I will come back if I can have a clause in my contract that says I get to leave early if I get into film school. And everyone was shocked and amazed at how easy they said, yes. The second one was that when I applied to Florida State University for film school, I was told that you have to fly down and you have to interview in person. If you don't interview in person, they will never accept you into film school. Well, I couldn't do that because I was on the road. I was traveling with Ringling Brothers Circus. And so they wanted to interview me. And I said, great, I can do it, but I can't come and see you. I have to do a Zoom interview. And they were gave me one stipulation. I still remember this. Uh, Rev, if you're listening, I remember this. And the stipulation was, okay, we'll make an allowance, but only if you take the Zoom in your train room so we can see what the train room looks like. (laughs) So that was the second one. And the third reason, the third thing was when I approached the assistant dean of the film school and said that the writers should be able to go to Hollywood and pitch 
And I was not satisfied with the meetings with the writers they had lined up. And I knew that Alan Ball, a creator of True Blood and writer of Six Feet Under uh, and, and a creator of uh, Six Feet Under and also um, Academy Award winner of American Beauty, that he had graduated from FSU, FSU. And I said, why can't we get a meeting with Alan Ball? And it was this, the vibe and the energy was, he's too busy. We don't want to play that card. We don't want to bother him. So I just took it upon myself to reach out to his assistant. And even the assistant was like, I don't know. He's really busy. We'll see. And he said, yes. And uh, filled with so much gratitude and appreciation. But these are just inexplicable things that will tell you that uh, you are on the right path wherever you're supposed to be next. And I will, I will definitely say that there are times when I felt like I wasn't on the right path. And whenever things happen quickly and easily, that's a huge affirmation that you are being supported. You are being supported by God. A love is making a way and you are safe. Third reason is, is that things that you can't explain are happening. So two things have happened let's see what has happened recently that I can't explain. So one thing that happened recently that I couldn't explain was that someone had recommended me for a speaking gig. And when I got on the phone to talk to this organization about a speaking gig, it was like, they said something to effect of, we can only pay you $2,500 and you're worth 15,000. So we can't afford you. And I was just like, okay, this is odd. This is weird because I was thinking like, cool, like 2,500 is fine with me. But the way that they viewed me and their perception was very different. And so to me, it felt like this inexplainable thing was happening to show me where I was going next. I also went to a smaller retreat type setting and was speaking was a guest speaker and somebody else who I love and adore was there who has been speaking on much bigger stages is incredible at what he does. And after I got through speaking, he came up to me and he said, this room is too small for you. And I got insecure and a little bit nervous because the people who invited me could hear this. And I really didn't want them to think that I wasn't appreciative or didn't love the fact that I was there. But at the same time, I know that words like that don't come from people. They come through people from God. And I had to just like take a moment and just digest that. So oftentimes I feel like God will give you hints and glimpses of where he's going to take you next and things that you can't explain are going to happen. I also remember when I was invited to be the mindset expert for high ticket coaching program, mindset mentor at the time, uh, that I couldn't believe that they asked me to, I couldn't, I couldn't because secretly I really wanted to do something like that, but I didn't even know how to ask. I didn't even know how to approach the person and It was kind of inexplainable. So that's number three. Number four is that if multiple people are giving you the same advice. (laughs) So this thing happens as like entrepreneurs and business owners, where we keep asking God for something, we keep believing for something, keep having faith for something, but we have a mindset hurdle of why we're not taking a specific course of action. And I've discovered that oftentimes when that happens, God will use multiple people to tell you the same exact thing. And so right now for me, it's growing my own confidence with Facebook ads. I've had many people tell me, encourage me, tell me that I need to grow my impact, grow my voice, use a little bit of paid advertising. So that's been a really big one. Uh, 
But it's so funny. If you hear someone give you the same advice and it's like three different people and they don't know each other, that's a really good sign that universe, God, your creator is really trying to get your attention to help you and get you where you keep asking to be and where you want to go. So that's number four. Number five is when you have this incredible feeling of satisfaction and excitement. So oftentimes, whenever you do something new for the first time, you're overcoming fear. And what's really incredible is I remember the first times I did certain things and I knew like that was exactly where I was supposed to be. Like I knew that was where I was supposed to be. So one example is that the first time I stepped out to perform with Moonbow Circus as a clown, I had this feeling of, I don't know why, but this is exactly where I'm supposed to be. Even though a lot of friends and family disagreed with the decision, they thought it was a waste of my talent, a waste of who I was, that I was like throwing away the gifts God had given me. But I just, in the moment, I felt such satisfaction, so much joy, like it was like, no, for whatever reason, this is really where I'm supposed to be. I also felt that when I went to Austin Film Festival as a second rounder, just the energy and the dynamics of being in the room and meeting all the writers and hearing them talk, I was like, something about this feels really natural and really, 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 really good. Um, so that's happened quite a few times in my life. And what's ironic about these situations is when you make the decision to do them, they often feel scary. They often feel crazy. They often feel like, are you, are you out of your mind? But then you get there and you go through them and it's like, no, this is exactly what I'm supposed to do. So that's number five. Number six is deja vu. I don't know exactly what the science is behind deja vu. I'm not a scientist. I do not have my PhD in science or neuroscience or any of that kind of stuff. But I once heard that when you have deja vu, it means that it's just God telling you, I love you so much. You're exactly following the path that I laid out to you for how you're going to bless the world. And I, I believe that. And my husband gets panic when he has deja vu. He doesn't like it. And when I share this explanation with him, it really put him at ease in his heart and his mind that everything is okay. Nothing is bad is happening. And I really do believe it. I, I, I believe that deja vu is just a nice reassuring sign that you are where you're supposed to be. And number seven is immense gratitude and peace. Y'all, I don't know if I've shared this with you before, but my number one prayer every single day is to have more gratitude. I, I can't get not get choked up talking about this, have more gratitude for where God has taken me, for my skills, for my resources, for the blessings in my life that I had the day before. And I am just, I feel like when you are on the right path, you have these moments where you look around you and you're like really in the present moment and they don't have to be big moments. They can be small moments. I had a small moment, you know, yesterday where I was just watching our cats play Max, Max, <laughs> Stuart and Betty. Max is the name of my son that I am manifesting. I have a desire to have children. Max Jackson Willow, uh, clearly he is on my mind. Uh, but watching Stuart and Betty play, I just had this, they were just so cute. And I just had this profound appreciation for this simple moment. And I feel like when you have immense gratitude and peace after making a crazy decision, it's really, really powerful. And I'll just say this right now. One of those times is when I left uh, a funding source for my dreams. I was used a, you know, kind of a stopgap. I think some entrepreneurs use a stopgap between having a full nine, nine to five job. They take like a part-time job as a funding source to kind of help them carry over. 
And for me, that was being an adjunct professor. And I remember making the decision just to leave. And it was the best decision I'd ever made. The best, the absolute best. So those are my seven reasons, ways that you know that you are on the right track. And I hope that this brings you lots of encouragement and joy. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please go and subscribe because you get to see my beautiful face and all my emotions that you don't get to hear on my podcast. And uh, there's going to be future content coming on there that you can't find anyplace else. If you haven't joined the Confident AF Mindset Practices Facebook group, make sure you join that too. I do a new training every single week. The training that's going to drop this week is actually going to be uh, the mindset of transitioning from a nine to five, how to anchor into the faith of that. So that's going to be really, really exciting. And also follow me on Instagram at Brandon R. Foster. I love you all the pieces. Thank you for listening and join me for next week's episode, which is going to be why are you not getting leads? What is the energetics and mindset behind not getting leads in your business? I love you to pieces and we will talk really, really soon. Bye-bye. You have been listening to Confident AF Live, taking your mindset next level to get next year's results today with host Brandon Foster on transformationtalkradio.com. Listen or watch live every Wednesday, 12 p.m. Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern, where I help badasses like you with big dreams learn to take their impact and results next level, turning those unrealistic goals into reality. Confident AF Live is the gateway to enormous new opportunities and unlimited possibilities. For more information, get in touch with me, Brandon, at brandonrfoster.com.